Good morning students. Welcome back to the online sessions of science class 10. I hope you and your family will be fine in this pandemic situation. So I request it to you. Just don't go out to your homes ever to go into the crowded places. Stay home, stay safe. And wash your hand at a specific time of interval up to a specific time up to 20 seconds. So stay home and stay safe. The today so we are discussing about the new chapter of your syllabus that is chapter number 11 the human eye and the colorful world. In the previous chapter if we are discussing about the lens and mirror formula and magnification how the refraction and the reflection that can be taken place that we have to discussing in our previous chapter. So also we are discussing about uh, what is the actually uh, nature, positions of size of image according to the lenses, maybe a convex, a concave, whatever the lens is. Also, we can be studied about the different formations of the eye, how the adapter that can be works, implementation, different defects of the human eye. These are the formations that we are discussing into our previous class. Also, which we have to discussing like lens, how it should be used from the human eye, the formulas, how to be correct this formation of the catrast this we have to be discussing in your previous classes also we have to learn in the previous chapter about the light and some of its properties we discussing more ahead about the ideas of the studies of the optical phenomenon of nature how it can be implementation like rainbow formation split splitting of white light a blue color of the sky these are the topics that we are discussing in today's lectures so before we discussing, first we discuss ki, uh, what is called dispersion of white light through a glass prism or maybe how the dispersion of white light that can be occur. So the phenomenons of splitting the white light into the constitutions colors is called dispersion of light. The phenomenon of splitting of white light into its constituent colors is called dispersion of light. So white light is a composed of a seven constituent of colors. White light is generally a composition of a seven constituent colors. So all these constituent colors of a white light have a same velocity in a vacuum. They have a same velocity, all this light of colors. So we cannot be see this constitution color differently. Because vacuum ke andar is sare jo colors ke jo velocity hai wo same hai. Iske wajah se ab colors ko dekh nahi paate. So refractive index of a medium that depends on the wavelength of the incident lights. So it means keep colors of light therefore refractive index of the same medium is different for the light having the different wavelength. Alag -alag light ke alag -alag wavelength hoti hai. So according to the refractive index jo humne pehle bhi padha hua tha, n is equal to c upon v previous chapter mein ki of a medium ki velocity of a constitution color is different from the different medium. Alag -alag medium ke andar agar aap dekhte hai, to har ek color ka jo differentiation jo uski velocity hoti hai, sab mein change hoti hai. All the colors have a different velocity into the different medium. So the velocity of a constituent colors of a light is different into the natures of a different medium like a medium of glass, medium of water have a different natures. So the colors which have the more velocity of light a deviation is done minimum once again the color which has more velocity has its uh, deviation is very less okay it's called minimum deviation or whose velocity is very less this velocity kafi kam hai its deviation is done maximum uska deviation kafi jyada hota hai so in a transparent medium any transparent medium uh, like a uh, velocity of violet color the violet color ka velocity hai, it is very minimum so its deviation is maximum velocity jo violet color ki hai, wo kafi kam hai, its minimum so uska deviation kya hota hai? deviation is very maximum as well as the velocity of the red light is very maximum so its deviation is very minimum so jis light ka velocity sabse high hota hai uski deviation kam hota hai aur jis ka velocity sabse less hota hai uska deviation sabse jyada hota hai so the dispersion of white light that occurred of the refraction of this type of the constitutions of colors at the different angles of the spectrum that can be observed onto the screen so when the 
prism that can be implemented like a glass of prism the when light of incident that incident onto that glass prism so all the colors have a different velocity into that particular medium so different angles of the refraction that can be different so the band of seven colors that can be obtained from the splitting of white light is called spectrum so the when the white light is incident onto the prism it split into the seven colors so band of seven colors that is generally considered as a vibgyor violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red these are the colors which is generally implemented into the dispersion of white light so when the white light that should be incident onto the glass prism when that can be incident onto the glass prism that can be easily implemented having a different ratios of the angles having a different dispersion rate so that can be implemented onto a seven band of colors so the white light that convert that using the prism into the seven colors prisms ke through a seven colors ke andar usko agar wo implement karta hai theek hai it should be implemented onto the formations so uh, instead of that if we are using the two different prisms agar hum do alag alag prisms ko lete hain aur dono prisms ko opposite direction mein arrange karte hain like लेट वी टेक द टू प्रिजम पी वन एंड पी टू ऐसे दो प्रिजम हम कंसिडर करते हैं अरेंज दैट टू प्रिजम्स ऑन टू देर अपोजिट डिरेक्शन एक को स्ट्रेट रखो और एक को उसके अपोजिट रखो नाउ अलाउ द नेरो बीम ऑफ लाइट टू इंसिडेंट ऑन टू द फेस ऑफ प्रिजम पी वन जो पहला प्रिजम है उस पर फेस ऑफ लाइट पर उसको आप इंसिडेंट करिए सो ऑब्जर्व दैट बीम ऑफ लाइट इमर्जिंग ऑन टू द पी टू दैट इज नियरली स्क्रीन ऑन टू द वॉल उसके नजदीक ही पी टू को आप अपोजिट डिरेक्शन में अरेंज करिए the white light that should be incident onto the prism p1 that can be released seven band of colors and this seven band of colors once again incident onto the opposite direction of prism p2 it will be reflect the white light so p1 disperses the white light into the seven colors and p2 recombines that seven colors into the white light so the newton had proved that the white light is made up with the seven constitution color is seven color ka bana hua aisa newton ne prove kiya hua tha so if we discussing about this more ahead first of all we implementation some of the formations like abhi hum dekhte hain ki colors ke combinations mein color combinations some alag alag tarike ke color combinations samajhte hain jisme primary colors hai a pigments hai primary pigments hote hain mix prime pigments mein bhi primary pigments kya hai subtractive method kya hai ye sab uske andar implementations hota hai so the color substances which are used to paint usko hum pigment kehte hain और पिगमेंट्स जो होते हैं वो ड्राइंग और पेंटिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स जो वेल नोन एग्जांपल्स हैं पिगमेंट्स के वो साइन मैजेंटा येलो हम उसको प्राइमरी पिगमेंट में कंसीडर करते हैं उसके साथ साथ जो प्राइमरी कलर ऑफ लाइट है जिसमें रेड ब्लू और ग्रीन होता है आर बी जी जिसको कहते हैं उसके अंदर को एक से ज़्यादा कलर्स को ऐड करके आप नए नए कलर्स बना सकते हो उसे रेड और ब्लू को आप कंबाइन करोगे तो मैजेंटा मिलेगा ब्लू येलो को करोगे तो वाइट मिलेगा रेड ग्रीन को करोगे तो येलो मिलेगा रेड साइन को करोगे तो वाइट कलर मिलेगा तो उसमें एक वर्ड आता है जिसको हम कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर्स कहते हैं तो एनी टू कलर्स वाइल मिक्सिंग ऑफ दिस इट प्रोड्यूस द वाइट लाइट ऑफ कलर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर कोई भी दो कलर को अगर आप ऐड करते हो दोनों कलर को ऐड करने से अगर वाइट कलर अगर आपको मिलता है तो उसको आप क्या कहोगे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर उसको आप कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री कलर कहते हो तो जनरली हम क्या होता है कि ना कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट को आप देखते हो मान लीजिए वो ग्रीन कलर का है येलो कलर का है व्हाइट कलर का है रेड कलर का है ब्लू कलर का है तो हमें वही कलर क्यों दिखता है वाई वी कैन बी सी दैट कलर तो देखिए जो uh, मान लीजिए कि इफ द रेड कलर इज लाइट इंसिडेंट ऑन टू द ग्रीन कलर सो हाउ द लीफ विल बी सीन सो अगर रेड कलर के लाइट को आप लीफ पे इंसिडेंट करते हैं ग्रीन कलर के लीफ पे तो ब्लैक दिखेगा इट शुड बी सीन ब्लैक क्यों ब्लैक दिखेगा generally when the light is incident onto the green colored leaf it reflects only the green color okay and absorbs all the remaining colors to agar aap red light ko incident karenge green color pe to kisi bhi tarah ka reflection wahan se return nahi hoga isliye object aapko nahi dikhta hai to kisi bhi color ko dekhne ke liye generally aap jab bhi observe karte ho kisi bhi cheez ko to wahan pe white light jo hai sun ke andar se jo release hoti hai wo us object pe incident hota hai wahan se रिफ्लेक्ट होकर हमारे रेटिना तक आता है तो हम उसको देखते हैं तो व्हाइट कलर जो है अलग अलग कलर का कॉम्बिनेशन मान लीजिए ब्लैक या व्हाइट या रेड कलर पे अगर वो इंप्लीमेंट होता है तो वो रेड कलर को छोड़ के बाकी के सारे कलर को एब्जर्व कर लेगा इसलिए ऑब्जेक्ट रेड दिखता है अगर सारे कलर को ऑब्जर्व करके कुछ भी रिलीज ना करे तो ब्लैक दिखता है दिस आर द जनरल कॉन्सेप्ट तो उसी में ह्यूमन आई जो है वो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर के कम में कंसिडर किया जाता है सो ह्यूमन आई 
इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल एंड सेंसिटिव सेंसेबल ऑर्गन इसको सेंस ऑर्गन कहते हैं सो इट जनरली इनेबल अस टू सी वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड एंड कलर्स अराउंड अस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कलर्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड दैट कैन बी सीन थ्रू योर आईज सो ऑन द क्लोजिंग ऑफ आईज वी कैन नॉट बी आइडेंटिफाई ऑब्जेक्ट थ्रू देर स्मेल टेस्ट साउंड और बाई टच अगर आप किसी भी ऑब्जेक्ट को देख नहीं सकते तो उसका टेस्ट स्मेल टच से आप उसको आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते सो हाउ एवर इम्पॉसिबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द कलर्स वाइल क्लोजिंग द आईज आंखों को बंद करके आप कलर को आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते हो बिकॉज ऑल द सेंस ऑर्गन द ह्यूमन आई इज मोस्ट ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट ऑफ वन ऑफ द एनेबल्स टू द ब्यूटिफुल कलर अराउंड ऑफ आइज ठीक है तो ये ह्यूमन आई जो है वो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट के फॉर्म में यूज होता है जो एग्जामिनेशन में काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है द ह्यूमन आई इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट नेचुरल ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट हुज कंस्ट्रक्शन जस्ट लाइक कंपेयर टू द कैमरा ओके सो द ह्यूमन आई इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट नेचुरल ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन दैट कैन बी जनरली मेड टू कंपेयर विद द कैमरा लाइक अ सिंपल स्केच ऑफ आई अलॉन्ग विद द लेबलिंग ऑफ द मेन पार्ट दैट इज गिवन ऑन योर टेक्सट बुक और स्क्रीन तो लाइक अ मस्कुलर डायफोग्राम बिहाइंड द कॉर्निया इज नॉन एज अ आईरिस ओके कॉर्निया के पीछे एक मस्कुलर डायफोग्राम होता है जिसको आयरिस कहते हैं तो कॉर्निया क्या पहले तो वो समझना है द लाइट ऑफ रेज दैट जनरली कमिंग फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट एंटर इन टू द आई थ्रू द कॉर्नियम जो ऑब्जेक्ट पे से वो लाइट ऑफ रेज रिटर्न होकर हमारे आंखों के अंदर आते हैं तो वो कॉर्निया के थ्रू ही हमारे आंखों के अंदर एंटर होते हैं एंड द मस्कुलर डायफाग्राम बिहाइंड द कॉर्निया दैट इज कॉल एज अरिस विच कैन कंट्रोल द अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट विच एंटर इन योर आईज वो आयरिस उसको कंट्रोल करता है एंड अपार्चर बिहाइंड द कॉर्निया ऑफ अ सेंटर इज नॉन एज अ प्यूपिल उसका प्यूपिल कहते हैं जिसको भी कंट्रोल कौन करता है आयरिस कंट्रोल करता है After passing the light through the pupil, the light of rays incident onto the jelly-like material substance known as the eye lens. उसको आप eye lens कहते हो. The muscular structure which holds the eye lens of its position is known as the ciliary muscle. उसको आप ciliary muscle कहते हैं. They change the focal length of the eye lens by changing its thickness. जो ciliary muscle क्या करता है eye lens की thickness और thickness है उसको increase करना, decrease करना, उसके according to focal length को change करना. This all are having done by the Uh, uh, ciliary muscles. The position of image, where the image is formed due to the refraction by eye lens, is called retina. So when the light of rays fall onto the retina, the light is very sensitive cells generate a uh, electrical signals. So the signals are sent to the brain through the optic nerves, where the image of an object that can be interpreted. So these are the general structure of a human eye. सो दिस इज द कॉमनली फॉर्मेशन कैसे एंटर होता है कैसे उसके फॉर्मेशन में जाता है सो डैमेज टू और द मेल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ एनी पार्ट ऑफ विजुअल सिस्टम कैन लेट टू अ सिग्निफिकेंट लॉस ऑफ विजुअल फंक्शनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ एनी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर इन्वॉल्व इन टू द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ लाइट लाइक अ कॉर्निया पीपिल आईलैंड एक्यूज ह्यूमर्स वायरस ह्यूमर्स ऑल द रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ लाइट एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्स so the retina or even the optic nerve that transmit this impulse to the brain so it should be damaged so the image cannot be created onto the retina and we cannot be observe the particular image so the image generally generated onto the retina by the image reflected onto the retina so we can be seen the object clearly okay the next topic is generally a power of accommodation power of accommodation is what and what is generally a least distinct vision then we have to discuss the ciliary muscles that can modify the curvature of lens of human eye of to certain extent only okay the ciliary muscles have a specific ability or can be modify the curvature of lens of human eye up to a certain extent only so the focal length of lens that changes with the change in the curvature of eye lens focal length wahan pe change hoga so if the normal situation of a ciliary muscle like normal situation of ciliary muscle the lens is thin and its focal length is more so this enables i to see the distinct object very clearly when the ciliary muscles contract the focal length is decreased due to the increase of curvature of eye lens i will be able to see the near object very clearly so the ability of eye lens to adjust its focal length as per requirement is called as accommodation of power of an eye that is called accommodation power of an eye 
so the minimum distance at which the object can be seen clearly without any contactions of eye lens is called as a least distance vision that is called least distance vision the distance is also called as a near point of an eye so for young and adult with normal visions have the value of this 25 cm up to normal distance visions and the farthest distance up to which i that can be see the objects clearly that is called far away points this is called the far point of an eye so uh, it is an infinite for the persons having a normal visions so that the persons with the normal vision can see the clearly from 25 cm to infinite like we are on to the earth and we are seen to the sky the stars and moon it is a very infinite distance so we can be seen without any formations so the light rays and formations the eye lens is a composed of the fibrous jelly like materials curvature can be modified to some extent of the ciliary muscles so curvature of eye lens that can be change its focal length according to the muscles relax and become thin so it is generally called as the accommodation of power of an eye so the light rays uh, which coming from the specific for object forms the image on retina after being refracted by an eye lens so to see the see the clear image of an object image should be exactly onto the retina wo kahan pe aana chahiye retina pe hi aana chahiye always be so when the ciliary muscles that cannot be change the thickness of eye lens as per the requirement the defect of visions arises so generally three main types of defect of visions arises in there which is called near sightedness it is generally called as a myopia far sightedness that is called hypermetropia and the presbyopia these are the three main defects that can be generated the visions of their effect so first we def- seen the defects of myopia okay or it is generally near sightedness that is called myopia if the eye lens does not become thin if the eye lens does not become thin as per the requirement the light rays which is coming from the distant object are focused at the distance sorted to the retina so the after being refracted from the eye lens so the distant object cannot be seen clearly through nearby object that should be clean seen to near ka object aapko dekh sakte hain dur ka object aap nahi dekh sakte hain so this type of defect is called near sightedness or myopia okay so the effects this defect can be corrected by using the suitable power of concave lens if you have to be remove this near sightedness defect you have to use the concave lens near sightedness mein nazdik ka dikhta hai dur ka nahi dikhta dhyan rakhiyega so this type of defect is generally seen into the young age of the peoples now as well as if we seen about the hypermetropia so it is generally called as a far sightedness if the eye lens does not become thick as per the requirement the rays which is coming out from the nearby object will be focused beyond the retina so the nearby object cannot be seen but far away object can seen clearly to dur ka object dikhega na dikh ka nahi dikhega to this type of defect is called far sightedness or hypermetropia so this type of defect can be corrected by using the convex lens as appropriate power convex lens ka aapko use karna hoga and this type of defect is generally seen into the old ages uh, okay now next is called as a presbyopia third is called as a presbyopia so the power of accommodation of eye usually decrease with the age increase jaise jaise hamari age badhti hai hamare power of accommodation of eye dheere dheere decrease hoti hai so the near point of age is generally persons which should be reduces gradually reduces away so they find to difficult to see the nearby objects comfortably and distance without corrective eye glasses so this defect is called presbyopia okay so without spectacles they have to find to difficult to see the objects so this effect of eye arises due to the weak of the ciliary muscles and the loss of the electricity of the eye lens eye lens ki jo elasticity hai jo weakness hai uske wajah se dheere dheere kam hota hai jisko hum presbyopia kehte hain so Uh, on the remaining disease, अगर हमें इसको recover करना है, तो we have to use the spectacles of the bifocal lens. Bifocal lens का use करना होगा. 
generally upper part of the bifocal lens are made by the concave lens and the lower part is generally made by the convex lens so whatever the nearby object and the far away object that can be easily seen clearly that is called as a press biopia which we can consider formation mein consider kar sakte hain okay so now we discussing about the uh, this topic we discussing about the through of glass of prism that we already discussing how the light of rays that should be incidented ग्लास ऑफ प्रिजम कैसे वो इंसिडेंटेड होता है इसके बारे में भी मैंने आपको समझा दिया है ठीक है चलिए अभी यहाँ पे एक और चीज हमें समझना है कैटरेक्ट के बारे में कैटरेक्ट क्या होता है उसके बारे में हम समझते हैं कैटरेक्ट क्या है देखिए अभी व्हेन द मिल्की एंड द क्लाउडी लेयर इज फॉर्म अराउंड ऑफ योर आईलैंड एंड टू द ओल्ड एज ऑफ पर्सन द लॉस द रीजन पार्शियल और कम्प्लीटली सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सिचुएशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ कैटरास्ट उसको कैटरास्ट कहते हैं so it can be removed by the surgery surgery ke through aap usko remove kar sakte hain patients are advised to wear the black goggles of same day after the surgery kuch din ke baad surgery usme use karna hota hai chaliye abhi yahan pe ek aapko figure dikh raha hai 11.7 wo rainbow formations ke bare mein aapko dikh raha hai us pe hum thoda sa discussion karte hain to rainbow ka formations kaise hota hai wo yahan pe diya hai so rainbow is a natural spectrum visible in the sky after the rain shower it is generally caused by the dispersion of sunlight by the tiny water droplet present into the atmosphere dispersion of light light ko alag alag directions mein disperse karna jaisa prism ke andar kaisa dispersion of light hota hai ek color ko sath color mein divide karta hai waise hi a rainbow is a natural spectrum visible into the sky after the rain shower it is generally caused by the dispersion of the sunlight by the tiny water droplets which is present into the water atmosphere so rainbow is always be formed into the direction of opposite to the sun and the water droplets which is available into the atmosphere which act like as a small prism small prism jaisa wo kaam karte hain so the disappears the incident light first then reflect it internally jo water ke droplets hote hain yahan pe dekho diya hai the sunlight rainbow total internal reflection fir se reflect ho ke bahar ki taraf aa raha hai so the different colors of light is enter into your eye due to the dispersion so internal reflection and the refraction of light which is done into the tiny droplets jiske wajah se reflection hamari aankhon pe dikhne ko milta hai so looking from the lower to higher order of a colors from violet towards red is known as a primary rainbow sometimes you may have seen two rainbows in the sky out which order two colors in upper rainbow is reverse to the primary rainbow is called secondary rainbow usko aap secondary rainbow se consider kar sakte ho so when the sunlight having a rain drop it dispersions of a refraction angle this is called as a dispersion of reflection angle reflection of light is there red and violet due to this refraction the light of rays that can be enter in your eyes to the formations of a rainbow now the next topic is called atmospheric refraction now first of all what is called atmospheric refraction jisme twinkling of stars ke bare mein hame samajhna hota hai so density of earth atmosphere is non uniform everywhere har ek jagah pe earth ki density alag alag hai it consists the different layers of a different density alag alag layer ki alag alag density ka wo consist karta hai the layer at the lower altitude from the earth surface having a more density than the higher altitude jo lower altitude pe density hai वो उससे ज्यादा डेंसिटी वहां पे होती है सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द एटमोस्फियर डिक्रीज कंटिन्यूसली फ्रॉम लोअर टू हायर एल्टीट्यूड ओके सो द फिजिकल सिचुएशन इन विच द रिफ्रैक्टिंग मीडियम यानी कि एटमोस्फियर के अंदर जो एयर है वो आर ऑल्सो नॉट स्टेडी सो द अपेरेंट पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो फ्लक्चुएट जो एक्चुअल पोजिशन वो भी फ्लक्चुएट होता है so this type of phenomenon is known as atmospheric refraction or it is also called reflection of light by the earth atmosphere so the phenomenon like twinkling of stars early sunrise delay sunset that should be occur due to this type of atmospheric refraction now so here we discussing about the twinkling of stars if you see that here is the concept is giving twinkling of stars one position is there so Uh, twinkling of stars is what? So, as the stars, they are very far away. So, they may be the considered to be the point of source of light because okay? they have their own light. So, atmosphere layer is generally made of a different type of layers of a different density. 
so the when the star light passes through the atmosphere and it normally till reach enter in your eye due to the different type of reflection alag alag reflection so its virtual place is be seen slightly up to their original position original position se thoda sa virtually upar ki taraf dekhne ko milta hai so due to that mobility of an air and the changes into the temperature the refractive index of the atmosphere changes continuously and the randomly so therefore the apparent position of star is not been steady but it's changed slightly wo dheere dheere change hota hai so the form changing positions to the stars ways from entering to the lights into your change the position so that's why this look like as a twinkling so why the solar systems are not been twinkling now the planets are very nearer to the earth and the stars comparatively so they can act as a extremely source while the stars are very far away and seen very smaller so stars are considered as a origin of point while the planets are not be considered as a collection of point source due to twinkling of solar system does not be occur in the place okay so that is the one of the effect actually that can be implementation now here one advance sunrise and delay sunset that is we have to discussing the sun is visible us about 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and 2 minutes after the actual sunset because the refraction of light by an atmosphere actual sunrise means what the actually appearance here is figure is given the actual sunrise means the actual appearance at the origin by the sun okay so figure shows actual and apparent position of sun with respect to the origin कहा होरिजन के नीचे और कहा वो ऊपर की तरफ दिख रहा है सो वेन द सन इज बिलो द होरिजन सन लाइट विच इज टू अवर आईज आफ्टर बींग रिफ्रेक्टेड इन टू द एटमोस्फियर सो द सन राइज इज एक्सपीरियंस टू मिनिट अर्ली इन द सेम वे वेन द सन मूव बिलो द होरिजन इट सीन फॉर टू मिनिट्स आफ्टर द सनसेट ड्यू टू द इफेक्ट ऑफ द एटमोस्फियर so the duration of day increases by the 4 minutes due to early sunrise and the late sunset okay so that is generally apparent position formation now next is called as a scattering of light it is also one of the important topic in which we discussing about the tindall effect now scattering of light is what so the deflection deflection of light by the very minute particles and the molecules into the all the direction is known as a scattering of light the colors of the scattering of light depend upon the size of the scattering particles size kya particles ki us pe light kya scatter karta hai depend karta hai due to the small size minimum particles scatter of light of a small wavelength such as blue color okay so the particles with the bigger size scatters the light of larger wavelength so if the size of scattering particles is much bigger the scattering of light appears as a white so this way it generally create the different type of effects in which first we discussing about the tindall effect the earth atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixtures of a minute particles tiny water droplets suspended particles dust air molecules this all are available into the atmosphere as well as small particles so when the light falls on a such this type of the colloidal particles the path of light of beam that becomes visible okay so this phenomenon is known as the tindall effect so the light of rays reach us after a deflection of the light into the all direction of this type of the particles so when the fine beam of sunlight enter into the smoke to fill room through a small hole a path of become visible due to this phenomenon so when the sunlight enters into the uh, like a canopy of a dense forest tindall effect also seen due to the scattering of light through the tiny water droplets which is available onto in mist sometimes like a smoke emitted by the combustion of engine oils appears blue into the winter seasons these all are having a effect of tindall effect so the phenomenon of the developed commercially to determine the size and density of aerosol and the other colloidal particles this generally give a specific beam of light which generally call as a tindall effect now next we discussing about the why the color of a sky appears blue in color okay so 
the molecules of air and the other fine particles which is available into the atmosphere have their size smaller than the wavelength visible the light. So this type of the particles are more effective in the scattering of the light visible having a shorter wavelength at the blue and the light having a longer wavelength at the red end. So the wavelength of red color light about 1.8 times more than the blue color. So the when the sunlight that is passes through the atmosphere the fine particles of air scattered to the blue color more strongly than red. So the sky appears as a blue. But if the earth have no any atmosphere the sky would have appeared as a dark black color absence of the scattering of light. So these are the ones. Now generally we seen ki uh, 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 danger signals mostly in a red in color. Why? The red color light scattered least by the fog or smog. So it can be seen from a very long distance. Therefore, it is used into the signals of showing a very danger color of light red. So it can be easily seen into the very formation of a dyes. Now the uh, sun that can be uh, seen as a very reddish colors and sunrise and sunset. Why? Why should be happens? Kyu aisa hota hai? Ye cheez hum hai. So white light is generally coming uh, from the sun has traveled a more distance in the atmosphere before reaching to the observer. So during this the scattering of blue light take place so that the light of corresponding to the radius color reaches to the observer so hence appears to the radius. So sun looks like as a radius. Similar situation result into the sunset rising the setting of full moon from the horizon appears radius due to this type of reasons. So scattering of light that generally obtain like a experimentally here is you can see that okay, first of all place the strong source as of white light and focus the convex lens as shown in the figure that is called L1 okay so that is generally implementation allow the light of beam that passes through the transparent glass of a vessel be containing the clean water here is the water is seen there so now allow the beam of light passes through the circular hole C. Here you can be seen the figure circular hole C made in the cardboard obtain the image circular hole on the screen on the convex lens of L2. Here is another lens L2. Okay. So it is found to the observations of the blue color light among the incident of white light scattering looking the vessels color light ready screen appears from. So that can be seen onto the screen. So why clouds are seen white when you are sitting into the plane and while traveling you see in the clouds that should be seen in the white clouds are at more height from the surface of the earth so the water droplets which is present to the clouds are very bigger in size compared to the incident of wavelength so the particles in bigger in size than incident of wavelength so the light wavelength of all color that get be scattered so the waves of all wavelength are together create white color so the clouds are seen into the white color. Isilohame white color ka dikta hai. Okay. So that should be a seen as a white color. So ye fura formation jo hai wo topics ke hisab se mismein discussion kar sakte hai. Dekhe isme ek aur concept samay samajna hota hai jismein scattering of light light aapke book mein nahi diya hai. Phir bhi mein aapko samjha du. Isme ek hota looming concept aur ek hota mirage formation. Dekho looming is a such a kind of a mirage observed into the very cold regions in which the distinct object appears to be hanging midway into the air that is called looming concept. So it is generally produced by the total internal reflection of light onto the downward direction that generally caused by the atmospheric refraction. The looming concept that produces a virtual and erected image of an object at a specific part of the horizon as of optical warmer air remains above into the colder air density formation into the atmosphere jis ki wajah se thoda sa jis hum aquatic regions ki taraf agar jate hain aquatic regions mein agar aap gaye aur wahan se aap kisi bhi object ko agar aap observe karte hain when you observe the object from the optic formations to aap wahan pe aapko water jo hoga wo actually hoga kafi far away par aap dekhenge to aapko lagega kafi near away aur jaise jaise aap aage jayenge wo dur hota jata hai that is called as a looming concept लेकिन जो माइरेज फॉर्मेशन होता है माइरेज जो है एक तरीके से ऑप्टिकल इल्यूजन्स क्रिएट करता है जनरली डेजर्ट्स के अंदर और इट इज जनरली सीन ऑन टू द कोल्टा रोड ड्यूरिंग द समर समर के अंदर रोड पे भी ऐसा हमें इल्यूजन देखने को मिलता है होता क्या एक्चुअली कि समर के अंदर 
द एयर नियर द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इज हॉटर देन द अबो ऊपर जो हवा है उससे ज्यादा गर्म नीचे की हवा होती है सो द एयर विच इज नियर द अर्थ इज रेयर देन द अबो इट सो इट इज मूव ऑफ धीरे धीरे ऊपर की तरफ जाती है ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ द रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स इंक्रीज कंटिन्यूसली सो वेन यू सीन द एनी ऑब्जेक्ट दैट जनरली सीन ऑन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑन टू द डेजर्स तो वर्चुअल इन्वर्टेड इमेज जनरेट कर जैसे अभी आप व्हीकल लेके रोड पे मूव करते हैं और समर के टाइम में और कोल्टा रीजन्स में जो अगर रोड है तो आपको वहाँ पे थोड़ा सा वाटर है ऐसा आपको दूर से देखने पे लगता है दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉल इज अल्यूज जनरली सीन ऑन टू दैट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ माइरेज फॉर्मेशन सो दीज आर जनरली अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ऑप्टिक इल्यूज विच जनरली इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन योर डे टू डे लाइफ सो इस चैप्टर के अंदर ये सारे कॉन्सेप्ट जो थे वो काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट थे जो आज हमने डिस्कशन किया है प्रिजम्स के बारे में डिस्कशन किया डिस्पोजन ऑफ वाइट लाइट कैसे होता है प्राइमरी कलर्स कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है पिगमेंट्स क्या है ह्यूमन आई क्या है डिफेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन विजन क्या है अकोमोडेशन ऑफ पावर ऑफ एन आई क्या है स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट क्या है एटमोस्फेरिक रिफ्रेक्शन क्या है दिस आर द टॉपिक्स दैट वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन टू द एग्जामिनेशन आई होप कि आज का जो सेशन अभी आपको पढ़ा है दैट शुड बी इजीली अंडरस्टेबल बाई यू सो वॉट वॉट एवर द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज गिवन इन टू द टेक्सट बुक दिस रिवाइज इट रीड इट एंड ट्राई टू राइट द आंसर्स इन योर ओन वर्ड्स ओके वॉट एवर द डिफिकल्टीज दैट विल टेकन ऑन द लेटर्स so once again i request it to you stay home stay safe using that valuable times more and more times spent into the studies write the answers which is given into the exercise in your own words just implement your knowledge by using different digital mediums of learning once again students keep revising keep updating your knowledge still take care and bye